Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This cute little scenario looks very easy to beat. The goal is to get a park value of a thousand which the pre-built rides easily provide and to pay back your loan which is only a thousand bucks. But what if I told you it would take you at least 55,000 years to complete it? And that's not roller coaster tycoon years, no, that's 55,000 actual years and you cannot even speed the game up. How is that possible? Well, I'm not showing you everything right now. If we reveal the HUD, we can see that we're over 214 million euros in debt, which is the lowest amount of money possible in vanilla RCT2, so we're not exactly in the position to pay back the loan right now. We will have to make a little bit of money to do that, but it is made a tad more difficult by the 300 trapped guests that are lost and would quite like to go home. There is no path leading from the park entrance to the main bit of the park and even if there was we cannot build a queue line for the rides that are already there and we also cannot build any additional rides. So the only way to make money in this scenario is via the park entrance fee. By spawning in a whole bunch of guests we can check the amount of money that they spawn with which in this scenario is 28, 38, 48 or 58 bucks. With a park entry price of 28 bucks everyone can enter but since each amount has a 25% chance we actually make slightly more money if we set it to 38 euros. This allows 3 out of 4 guests in which is an average of 28.5 per guest instead of just 28. We now know how much we make per guest, but how many guests can we get per year? This is determined by the guest generation algorithm, which works as follows. 40 times a second the game does one tick, and every tick it attempts to spawn a guest. It does this by generating a random number, ranging from 0 to 65,535, and it compares it to your guest probability. If the random number is lower than your guest probability, then it spawns a guest. This guest probability is mostly dependent on your park rating. The default value is 50 and then it adds your park rating minus 200. The minimum for this value is 50, so with a park rating of 200 or lower you stay at 50. After that it increases until you reach a park rating of 850, at which point you have hit the highest guest probability of 700. With these 300 lost guests trapped in the park it is ensured that our base guest probability is always 50 as they give a park rating penalty of over a thousand leaving it at zero at all times. This probability can now be further influenced by a bunch of multiplicative factors. One that we suffer from is the soft guest cap. A maze attracts 40 guests and a lift 45, so these 4 rides provide a total guest cap of 165, which is lower than the 300 guests that are always in the park. Therefore our guest probability gets divided by 4 and rounded down to 12. But harder guest generation is enabled, which causes us to get this penalty applied again, so we're only left with 3. Usually this can be further influenced by awards, but since our guest probability is so low they don't actually have any effect. They increase or decrease your probability by 25%, but because it rounds down after every step, 25% of 3 is exactly 0, so our final probability is just 3. Is there really no way to increase this? Getting rid of the trapped guests would increase the park rating and get rid of the soft guest cap penalty, but I'm afraid that that is not possible. While there is a path style in front of the park entrance, we do not own that style. This still allows new guests to come and go freely, but you cannot pick up and drop guests outside of the park boundaries and guests also cannot cross the park fence. Whatever you try, you cannot possibly get rid of these 300 guests. Fun fact, an earlier version of this scenario looked like this, with a full path connecting to the park entrance. I had quite a bit of the script written out until I realized that you could simply pick up the guests and move them outside of their prison, allowing them to leave. I then tried something with blocking the exit and drowning guests, but then I realized you could just simply drown the trapped guests as well. Eventually I remembered the trick where you don't own the tile in front of the entrance from an earlier scenario that I made a video about and that works perfectly. 
The guest probability of 3 gives a chance for a guest to spawn on every tick of 3 divided by 65,536. One in-game year consists of 3,276.8 seconds, which is equal to 131,072 ticks. Multiplying these two numbers with each other, we can expect on average to get 6 guests per year. With the park entry price of 38 bucks, which allows 75% of guests in, this comes out to a total income of 171 euros every year. That all sounds nice, but let's not forget about our expenses. These rides are not free to run. The mazes have an operating cost of 49.60 per hour and the lift costs 60.8 euros per hour to operate. Translated to running costs per in-game month, this is 26.2 euros. The 5% interest on our 1000 euro loan costs another 6 bucks a month, totaling 32.2 euros of expenses every month. With 8 months in a year, this is a little over 250 euros per year, which is significantly higher than our income of 171 euros, so we're not making money yet. What if we sell one or more rides? to lower the operating costs? I wouldn't do that if I were you, as this causes the soft guest cap to fall below 150. What's the problem with that? Well, if harder guest generation is enabled and the soft guest cap is more than 150 lower than the number of guests in the park, your guest generation stops entirely, killing the run. A ride breaking down would do the same, but there is a reason I chose the maze and the lift, as they cannot break down at all, so you don't have to worry about that. If we can't lower the expenses, we will have to instead raise the income. What if, instead of charging 38 euros for everyone, we adjusted the price so that every guest pays as much as they can? 25% of guests would pay 28 bucks, 25% would pay 38, and the same with 48 and 58. This averages to 43 euros per guest. With 6 guests per year, this totals to a yearly income of 258 euros, which is just 40 cents higher than our expenses. Yes, the best we can do is an income of 40 cents per year, but there's a catch. I didn't tell you earlier, but charging too much for the park entrance also divides your guest probability by 4. Since these rides are all 10,000 years old, the highest amount we can charge before the penalty sets in is just 3 bucks. So what you will have to do is keep the entry price very low until a guest comes along and then change it to the amount of cash they have before lowering it back down again. While the entry price is higher, no guests will be able to spawn, but I calculated that if you raise the price for on average less than 3 quarters of a second for every guest, you will still make a profit. And this is why I said earlier that you cannot really speed this up, as you will have to vigilantly watch the entry path for any guests to spawn and adjust the entrance fee accordingly. But how do we know that we actually get 6 guests per year? Random number generators can only be so accurate and RCT2 has a fairly simple one. To test this I let the park run for 21,000 in-game years and noted how many guests I had gotten at intervals of about 540 years. During this test the scenario still looked a bit different, but the guest probability was still the same at 3. This is the result of that test, with the average number of guests per year plotted as the blue line, with the ideal average of 6 as the red line. You can see the blue line dance around the value of 6, ranging from roughly 5.8 to 6.2. This seems quite accurate, but let's see what it looks like if we take the total average at every measuring point instead of just the average over that period. Here the blue line starts off fairly erratic, but the longer the test, the less pointy the graph, and at the end it is very close to 6. This graph is zoomed in 5 times as much as the previous one on the y-axis, so the value at the end is 6.00568. I think this is accurate enough to assume that in the long run the average will be exactly 6. That is probably not entirely true, but assuming this makes the calculations a whole lot easier. 
easier. We can now finally determine how long this scenario will take to complete. We need to make 214,748,364.8 euros to get out of debt. With an average income of 40 cents per year this will take us over 500 million in-game years. One in-game year is almost 10,000 times shorter than a real life year, so this scenario would take 55,746 years to complete. And that is without losing any time to changing the entrance fee. If on average you have the entrance fee too high for a quarter of a second per guest, this already changes to over 79,000 years. You will definitely need to pause the game to do it that quick, adding even more time, but this is fairly negligible. If you pause the game for 3 seconds per guest, it adds another 434 years, which is less than 1% more. However long it exactly takes doesn't really matter, as whatever you do, it will be absolute torture. In total, you will have to adjust the entry fee about 3.2 billion times to beat this scenario. Any volunteers? Actually, it's not quite that bad, and it wasn't until this video was almost finished that I realized why. You can simply close down the rights twice a month to avoid paying the operating costs. No problem, in that case I'll simply increase the interest to 18% and decrease the average guest money to 29 euros. Now you make on average 1.2 bucks a year, which is only 3 times as much as previously and would still take you at least 18.5 thousand years to complete. However, now in addition to changing the entry fee about a billion times, you also have to close and reopen the ride 2.8 billion times, so it's still not exactly a fun experience. To see how I actually did save a park that was just 17 million in debt, click this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.